What's up guys, Chris here, founder of Rooted Music Coaching. At Rooted, we exist to help you and others like you learn to play the music that you love by coaching you on the why and not just the what. Now in today's video, we have something really awesome for you. We're gonna teach you how to transpose music on a dime on the fly. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna show you how to take the song Cornerstone by Hillsong and move it from the key of C to the key of G just like that. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna use the Nashville number system as our background, as our backdrop here to understand how to do this. So if you don't really know how to understand that quite yet, or if you just haven't really ever been able to do that fluently, like this is your time. You're really gonna to wanna to watch this video and check out all that we have for you here today. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel here where you're gonna see videos like this, tutorials, and really great helpful tips to help you learn to play the music you love. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the teaching here. I'm really excited to show you how to start transposing today um, using the song uh, Cornerstone, really the intro of Cornerstone um, as uh, kind of the example here. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, Cornerstone uh, from Hillsong Worship. It's in the key of C, and we're going to talk about um, the, the chords that are in the intro of Cornerstone in terms of their numbers using the Nashville number system, okay? Um, the best way to transpose is using the Nashville number system. If you understand each key of music and the number system well, it makes transposition really easy to do um, and something where you, hopefully you can start to do that kind of on the fly. It's something that if you're, uh, if you're a, a piano player or any kind of musician, you just understand that in a band scenario, um, transposing music on the fly is just something that is kind of a norm, something you kind of have to just be able to do um, on a moment's notice. So that's what we're going to cover today. It's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to use this great song as the backdrop, and hopefully it should be really easy for you to follow along with and make a lot of sense. So we're going to be learning two keys of music today. We're going to learn the keys of C, the key of G, and you're going to see how they fit together really nicely within this song, Cornerstone, all right? So the first thing I need to let you know is that every key, every, uh, every note in music is a part of a greater group of notes called a key. And a key is just a group of notes that sound really good together, okay? So this one key uh, we're gonna talk about today is the key of C, the other key, the key of G. Uh, key of C has one rule in it, and the one rule is that we can't play any black notes, okay? So if you're looking at this piano roll right here, you're seeing a bunch of black notes, we're not gonna play any one of those. We're gonna stay away from the black notes and just stick with the white notes, okay? So that's the one rule about C. Now, whenever we learn a key of music, we need to understand uh, a couple things. We need to understand its scale, which is the map of the key, and then its chords, which are the, uh, the actual notes and the chords, the three notes together that we're gonna play um, as we get into uh, this song, and really as you get into any other song, really. Um, every modern song is made up of chords, um, which are a part of the scale and the key. So we got to understand the scale, and then we get to the chords, which is where we get to the good stuff. So let's talk about the key of C. So the the one rule about the key of C, again, is that uh, you can't play any black notes, so we're going to stick to white notes. What I'm going to do is show you a seven-note scale, really eight notes, but seven different notes, and show you how to play that real quick so you understand what notes we're working with, all right? So the first note is a C. We would play that with your thumb, all right? Then we'd move to D. That would be the next note of the C major scale uh, with your pointer. Then your middle finger would play E, and then your thumb would come underneath to play F. Then pointer would play G, and then middle finger A, and then ring finger B, and pinky on C, okay? So those are our notes so far, all right? Those are our eight notes in the key of C, okay? C all the way through C, and then when we go backwards, we go back the same way we came. Fourth finger, middle finger, Pointer, thumb, middle finger crosses over for E, and then D, and then C, okay? So that's our C major scale. From every scale, then we get a group of notes here called chords, all right? And each chord is built off the first, third, and fifth note of any scale. So the first note we played in that scale was a C. The third note was an E. The fifth note was a G. And we play those together. We get our one chord because our thumb, or our lowest note, is on the first note of the C scale, okay? So that's our one chord right there, okay? Our two chord is uh, ha gonna happen by just moving our hands one note higher. And that is our two chord. Again, we're not gonna play any black notes, just stick into the white notes. So that's our two chord. That one is called a D minor, all right? This would be our three chord. All right, next would be our four, and then our five, and then our six, and then our seven, okay? So we have all these seven different chords that we're playing right here, okay? <clears throat> it's gonna sound really great. 
All right, so what you just learned was the scale and chords in the key of C, and it's really going to allow us to be able to play this on Cornerstone, which we're going to go ahead and hop into right now. So looking at uh, the song Cornerstone by Hellsong Worship, you see it's in the key of C. It's in what's called 4-4 four, four time, meaning we have four beats in every measure. Um, this BPM is 71 and a half beats per minute. I like to double that type of tempo, moving it to 143 beats per minute. Um, from there, we kind of have our song chart. We're not going to go through all of this today. We're just going to mainly focus on the intro because that's the part I want to. I want you to understand as far as the transposition goes. That's the part that's going to be a lot of fun to play in these two different keys, key of C and key of G. All right. So you see that we start out with a one, and these numbers here are referring to chords that we're playing in the key of C. So our left hand is going to start on that one chord. And if you remember, the one chord was played like that. But what we're going to do with our left hand is just remove that middle note. Okay. The reason why we do that is because we don't want to muddy up the notes. Whenever we have lower pitch notes, those notes uh, have longer waveforms, and they don't sound quite as good when we play more notes put together. So we're just going to play those two, and then our right hand is going to do something else here in just a minute. But this is just left hand for now. So that's you're going to start with your one chord. Okay. Then we're going to move to our uh, another one chord there, which you already know what that is. Then we're going to move to a six chord, another six, a four, and a five. So I'm going to show you how this progression takes place here. On the cornerstone, we'll go with a one chord. We'll hold that for four counts. Three, four, another uh, one chord. Two, three, four. Then a six chord. Two, three, another six chord. Two, three, then a four chord. Two, three, four, then a five chord. And then we jump right into the verse. Now, what the right hand is going to do, it's going to do this cool little lead line, lead line I should say, uh, right here where we're going to play the fourth note the third note, the second note, and the first note in the C major scale, okay? And the lead is going to sound something like this. It's going to go 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1. Now, the, where I got those notes from is the C major scale, right, that we just learned. This is the first note in the C scale, second, third, fourth. So we're going to go 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1. Now, when you pair that with the left hand, what our left hand is going to do is play right before we hit those notes. So for each chord, we have that same lead line. So one chord and then our right hand comes in another one chord then we have a six chord then we have a four chord and then a five and that's it that's the entire intro right there okay that's the intro in the key of C now, so that's great, that sounds really good, but let's say um, you're playing with a female vocal instead of a male vocal lead and we need to change this from the key of C to the key of G. Okay, that throws a wrench in everything that you've just practiced and worked on so far. So what we need to do is we need to understand the key of G on piano. So the same way that C had a scale and chords is the same way that G does, and G is fairly simple. The only rule that we got to remember about G is that all Fs have to be sharped. If you're familiar where an F is, it's right here. Whenever we sharp a note, it means we bring the note up what's called a half step to the very next note to the right. So every F we play has to be like this. All right? We can't play any of these guys. Those are against the rules. We're going to play this F sharp here for every single F that we play. So showing you a scale, a map of, the, of this key of G is going to look like this. We're going to start with a G with our thumb, pointer on A, middle on B, thumb underneath the C, pointer to D, and then E with your middle finger, and then F sharp, because all Fs are sharp with your fourth finger, and then G at the end with your pinky. All right, then we'll go backwards the same way we can. So that's your G major scale. So from there, we get our chords. Remember, first, third, and fifth note of, e of the scale is how we build the chords. There's your one. There's your two. Now when we get to the three, we would have played that, but we have to sharp every F, right? So there's our three. Here's our four. Here's our five. Again, we're sharpening F. Here's our six. And then here's our seven, which we will not play. Um, in this song, but it's there nonetheless. So we have our chords, scale and our chords in the key of G. So now let's take what we just learned about the intro of Cornerstone, and we're going to move it to G, okay? So our left hand is going to play our one chord, all right? Because our one chord now is going to be a G, and normally it would be this G major chord, but we're removing the middle, right, that third of that chord, so it doesn't sound muddy. So we got those two guys for the one chord, okay? Then another one chord. And we go down to the six. And then another six. 
and then we'll go to the four, and then we'll go to the five. Right, so that's all our left hand is doing, it's just following the chord numbers as we just learned them in the key of G, right? So then our right hand is going to do the same thing that it did in the key of C, just in the key of G. Uh, we're going to go four, four, three, three, two, two, one. So here's our first note of the G scale, second, third, fourth. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and so forth. So now let's put our hands together, and see what that sounds like. Six now. That's how easy transposition can be, guys. Really, it all boils down to understanding the different keys of music. And when you understand those and you're able to play in those fluently, then really combining that with the number system um, understanding and knowledge, man, playing and moving notes and moving chords, really, uh, of entire songs from one key to the next gets so much easier. And it's what we just did right there. We literally moved the intro of Cornerstone from the key of C to the key of G on the fly, just like that. So simple when you understand the keys of music and the notes that are involved in those keys, and then secondarily, the number system. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today here in this tutorial. I hope you really enjoy learning how to transpose Cornerstone from the key of C to the key of G. Hopefully it was enlightening for you. You learned something that you didn't already know or understand. If you have any questions, I would love for you to comment on the video below. But if you loved this type of coaching, I'd love for you to get started with us in our monthly membership program where you're going to get access to coaching just like this on a daily basis. You're going to be a part of an amazing community that really is just centered around people who want to learn to play their favorite worship songs and worship music on the piano and do it well and do it in a community that is encouraging and surrounding them as they do it. So go ahead and check out our monthly membership program using the link below in our comments. Hope you guys have a great week.